Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a good day so far. And uh, we'll continue this morning uh, working through the book of Jonah, third chapter. And we're just going to look at one verse today. Jonah chapter 3 and verse 10. The Bible says, And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way, and God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. This is a great verse for us. Should be anyway. Should be extremely encouraging and exciting to us and uplifting uh, as it uh, reminds us uh, that um, even though God uh, is omnipotent, omniscient, uh, even though he is unchangeable, he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, uh, he does uh, adjust and change uh, as uh, respond to uh, to humans as they respond. Uh, he doesn't lower his standards. Uh, he doesn't um, change those, uh, but um, he does uh, accept and honor uh, the repentance uh, of man. And so as uh, Jonah has preached uh, to the Ninevites and the king has uh, proclaimed a fast and for himself and for uh, all the people of Nineveh. Uh, and again, they have uh, repented. The Bible says God saw their works uh, and determined not to uh, destroy them. Uh, he had, uh, there's been, a, it's uh, odd to read this story if you think about it, of all the people uh, in this story who receive uh, mercy and grace, the sailors. Uh, weren't destroyed uh, when Jonah was on their ship. Uh, Jonah thus far has been shown uh, mercy, uh, probably more mercy than any one of us would have shown him uh, for his actions. And now the Ninevites, uh, who were truly some of the most evil people uh, on the planet, uh, God shows them mercy uh, when they uh, repent. Jonah goes through town, he preaches one service, and they have uh, the greatest revival uh, in history. Uh, that is simply uh, a revelation of uh, the grace of God. What's really sad in this story is that Jonah missed it. Uh, Jonah uh, didn't like what he, uh, what he was told to do. He didn't like the results. And so he goes up on the hillside and uh, sits and pouts. Um, but um, the great lesson for you and I uh, this morning is uh, this simple lesson, that God saw their works, and when they turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had said he would do unto them. Uh, no one, you are not too far gone. Uh, you have not done anything. I, I hear that um, so often. Uh, I have heard it over the years in my ministry of those uh, who say, well, I've just... Uh, done, I've been too bad. I've been too mean. God could never forgive me. God won't forgive me. Uh, those kinds of statements. Uh, this verse and this story of the Ninevites reminds us uh, that the blood of Jesus Christ can cover uh, your sin. Uh, that your sin is not so uh, dark, so horrible. Uh, that the, the sacrifice and the blood of Jesus Christ can't cleanse us, it says, from all unrighteousness. And so this morning, uh, I urge you, uh, if uh, you don't know Christ today, if you've never asked him into your heart, never made him the Lord of your life, uh, that you would uh, consider that this morning. Consider just wherever you are, driving down the road, uh, listening, sitting in uh, your bedroom, your living room, wherever, um, that uh, you'd pause and uh, ask God to forgive you for your sins, uh, confess Christ as your Lord and Savior, ask Him to come into your life and to live for Him. And uh, Christians, uh, we um, sometimes like uh, the old prodigal son. We tend to roam and ramble. Uh, but God uh, welcomes us uh, to return back home when we repent. So um, look in the mirror this morning. It's all, something all of us need to occasionally do is a good, good personal checkup and see uh, like the Ninevites, do we need to turn from our evil way? All right, have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.